I have been playing Skyblock for quite some time now, and even though I have had a lot of experience with Cubecraft and regular Skyblock, there are a ton of different Skyblock servers out there that I have never played. So today, we are gonna be changing that. A couple of weeks ago, I asked you guys what your favorite Skyblock servers were, and although some of you missed the Skyblock part of the question, I have come up with a list of some of the most popular Bedrock Edition Skyblock servers out there, and today, we are gonna be checking them out. Starting with the first server, Fallen Tech. This is probably the server with the least amount of players that we're going to be checking out today. But yeah, let's just go into their Skyblock game mode and see what it has for us. And immediately there is a Wither in the hub. That is quite interesting. <laughs> Alright, so just from the first looks at this server, it kind of looks like it's more of an economy and like PvP type Skyblock. Ooh, PV- I'm actually gonna take this stuff. Is there a PvP place? Oh, okay, so it looks like there's different like uh, dimensions that, like, have PvP on. Nether PvP enabled. Can I, can I teleport to the nether? I, what's happening? Why, oh, I, why am I in a lava lake? All right, this is kind of not looking like Skyblock at the moment. Is there a way to, is there a way to go back? There is, okay. Where's the Skyblock part? Oh, okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Teleport to your island. Can I, can I teleport? Maybe? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, welcome to your island. Use slash manage shop to buy... Why is this the worst text ever? What does that say? I, I, I literally can't read that. Okay. Well, th th this is off to a great start. Wow. A, bl a block of lava. That... <laughs> uh, I guess we just start by cutting down a tree. Oh, okay. The items seem to just go into our inventory immediately. Yeah, okay. That That's actually kind of nice. Also... <laughs> What type, what type of generator is this? This is such a weird way to make a generator. It looks like we also got an ore generator from the chest and it, we can place it down. Wait, how, how does this work? Oh, okay, so it generates a coal block on top. It looks like there's two different currencies. There's mana and money. And with mana, we can buy a lot of different things. This actually looks really customizable. All right, so I, I've done some testing and it looks like you get mana just from doing things. Like here, if I craft myself, say, a axe, I think I will get some more mana. No. Wait, what? Okay, you, you must just get mana for doing things randomly because I, I got no clue. I just went up a mana for... M I, I'm so confused. What? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This is a little confusing. <laughs> Wait, what? Wow. And the skyblock literally just went offline. That's, uh, that's great. All right. Well, that was a little confusing. I'm guessing that once you get to know how everything works, it like kind of makes more sense. If I were to play this more, I think I would actually start to understand it more. And it looks like there were some cool like custom things like enchants and auto sellers. I think I'll give this skyblock probably a five out of 10. It, it was okay. I probably Probably if I played more, it would it would be a little better. But yeah, first experiences, 5 out of 10. Alright, we're now getting into some of the more popular Skyblock servers. This is called Skyblock PE. It has Skyblock in the name, so this kind of looks like more of a Skyblock-centered Minecraft server. Alright, new here, we can do slash is create. Alright, this is already a lot better than the last one. It wasn't 10 times more confusing. Oh, there's achievements in this. That's, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, so it is nighttime, which kind of sucks, but it looks like we spawn on a custom island this looks pretty cool okay i do like achievements from the servers i have played skyblock on achievements are actually really fun so i'm glad these e even if they're just like the default minecraft achievements i'm glad this server has them that's pretty cool uh i guess we can start by making a cobblestone generator wait what <laughs> is the island not all filled in oh okay so uh it looks like there are some custom things in here i i've seen um, this before, but uh, it uses the cobblestone generator as a way to get ores, which is pretty cool. Gold, nice. Uh, would love some iron. That that would be nice. I I can't build up, please. Okay, yeah, th this it's a little laggy. Oh, and there I go. Wait, do I lose all my stuff? Oh, okay, no. It looks like keep inventory is on, which is which is kind of nice. While we're here, we might as well explore the hub. It looks like there is also an enchant place over here. Can we just? Okay, it looks like you can just 
just normally enchant. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So it looks like there's in-game currency where if there's an open sign, you can make your own shop type thing. Yeah, so like people are selling um, looting level three for a thousand in-game currency, which is kind of insane. Oh, it also looks like there's a whole like stats thing as well, where you can look at your mining, excavation, wood cutting skills. That's really cool. Yeah, and then once you level up so far, you get different ranks. So when you get to like the total level, I'm at one right now, but you, when you get to like a hundred, you get challenger. That's kind of cool. All right. So yeah, that is our first looks at this server. It kind of is plain vanilla like if you want to i guess you could just kind of play it as plain vanilla on here but it also has an economy so i'm gonna give this uh we'll say a six out of ten i it, it wasn't that bad but I, i've seen better next up we're moving over to an actual featured server and this is a lifeboat i do have to say that i have played lifeboat skyblock before but it's it's a long time ago so i guess let's just check this out again definitely changed since the last time we have been here and i remember yeah a lot of the stuff was like pay to get generators or pay for auto sell yeah, these all cost actual coins and money. I wonder if I still have the same island. Ooh, yo, okay, that this has changed. Has Was my island deleted? Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I guess we create a new island then. Oh, okay, so it looks like we can do one with a generator, one just normal, one with a single block, uh, and then all this other stuff, like one block sky grid. I think this is all, it says included with additional islands. Yeah, which means we have to buy them. Uh, no, we're no, we're not, we're not doing that. Uh, I think we'll just try default island. <laughs> and from what I remember about lifeboat sky block, you can either have coins which you uh, get from the shop. Yeah, you can either buy or sell different block or items. Yeah, you can either buy or sell. Yeah, they have spawners and ore generators, which yeah, they're insanely expensive. I like, I think I made three episodes on this back in like 2020, and even after three episodes, I wasn't able to afford any of this stuff and i think same with the spawners as well yeah th this is insane yeah they definitely kit you out immediately with uh pretty much everything you'd ever need they do uh have cobblestone generators with ores in them as well so this is how you get ores so yeah i'd say this is definitely one of the more simple sky blocks that we're gonna look at there's not like a whole bunch of custom things really the only two custom things there are are uh or generators and spawners and then of course you can actually use real money to buy like uh auto miners and auto selling stuff so it is definitely a little pay to win which is kind of stupid it is really simple though which i think you'll see throughout this video that I, I i like simple there's some servers that make things over complicated and make and take like five years to learn anything from the time i played it looks like uh they have improved skyblock a lot as well um it's not as leggy as it used to be but yeah either way if you're just looking for like kind of a normal skyblock server um that it's it's a little it's a little basic uh, but uh i don't i don't know basics good you can build like farms and stuff with the generators and spawners i i think this honestly comes to the closest thing as like regular normal skyblock uh, like a server has like other than coins and generators but other than that this comes pretty close to normal skyblock and so with that in mind it's a little basic but i, I think i'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 as well or even a 6.5 out of 10 it's it's not that bad uh they've definitely improved even though they did delete my island I, I, there was such good memories there next up is a server that I know a lot of people have asked me to make videos on, which is Nether Games. Skyblock is one of their more popular games on this server, and I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, both good and bad, about this Skyblock. So yeah, I guess let's just try it out. It looks like there's two different types of Skyblock. Uh, let's try Skyland first. It looks more popular. Oh, okay. Uh, so it looks like we have a custom island here with a cobblestone generator. Is there barriers? There is barriers. Wait, what? There's like a border? I can't even mine the trees. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, you can upgrade the island to get a bigger building area. Uh, I'm wondering. Oh, okay. I can actually reach these logs. Okay, we can get some wood. Make ourselves a pickaxe and then we can start mining some cobblestone. It does look like there's a challenge called banking on the right hand side. Oh, I'm in the barrier again. Wait. <laughs> okay, I must have played on the server before because there's already a starting challenge complete. Right now, now we have one that says 
Uh, deposit 500 into the bank. How do I, how do I, is there, there's no bank. How do I, is there a money? Oh, de deposit. Okay. Uh, wait, let's just do 500. Submit. And then that should, there we go. Okay, so that did the banking quest as well. So if we, if we check again. Hey, oh, I got money. Okay, that's, that's actually kind of cool. Is there a shop? Maybe there is. Okay, so we can buy pretty much any building block we really want and sell them as well. That's good. So we can like sell cobblestone that we generate. Ooh, enchantments. Okay, it does, <laughs> is that a kill aura enchantment? They have a bunch of different like custom enchants. And then you buy it using experience levels. You found a mythical, wait, what? You found a mythical crate key while mining? Okay, I don't know what that key meant. Uh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I do know there's some sort of like skyblock hub, but I don't know how to get there. <laughs> All right, so apparently it's slash lobby to go. Oh, there we go. Oh, is there public islands? Oh, that's cool. So we can go and look at other people's islands. And then we also got kits. Oh, wait, can we just redeem? Oh, I, I don't have permission, dang. <laughs> oh, I, I did get a starter kit though, wait. Oh, okay, there we go. So, oh, all right, so it just gives you a starter kit with a couple of things, that, that's nice. There's also a PvP arena, all right. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I definitely have played this before. All right, let's put some stuff away. I wanna go try and kill someone. I know it's probably not gonna be possible. Actually, this person doesn't have armor. Let's go, this is easy kill, easy kill. Never mind. Never mind. This PvP is weird. What? What? Now we'll, we'll try that again. I, I got some more leather armor. Oh, he's back with leather armor. I was not prepared for this. All right. Uh, PvP. PvP. Oh, he's two health. Easy. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm taking his sword. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good, sir. Please, please. Oh. Oh, we're good. Oh my goodness. Is this guy back for another fight? What? What do you want, sir? He's. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting comboed. Okay, well, <laughs> this server, honestly, it doesn't seem very complicated, which is nice. It just, it, it's pretty much just you have money, you can buy and spend it on uh, stuff in the shop, kind of like a lifeboat. Uh, but then it also adds a PvP arena. Look at this guy. Thinks he's so cool. PvP is kind of weird in Skyblock, but I don't know. I, I think just adding some PvP to like have some more community is always cool. And then also challenges as well. The challenges aren't necessary, but they give like really good rewards, I think. I actually really like this. I know one critique with this server is that uh, once you play it after a while, it kind of gets boring. Oh wait, there, there's crates. Uh, didn't I get like a crate key? Oh, I do. I have a mythical crate. Let, let's open the crate. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh my god, wait, I think that's pretty good. What does a legends kit entail? Oh, that's uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, It's a little broken, but other than that, I, I really like this server. All right, one last thing. I've come back, sir. I've come back with diamond armor. You cannot escape. He killed me with a wooden hoe, and I came back with diamond armor. Honestly, I think I might try and play the server a little bit more, because this guy block actually does seem pretty interesting, especially... <laughs> This guy, this guy just keeps trying to kill me. Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh, wait. I, I, I just got, I just lost all my, I, I should probably stop talking now. <laughs> Either way though, I'd probably give this a good seven and a half out of 10. Up next is a server I'm very excited to try out, Crafters <laughs> MC. And just from my first impressions, this looks so cool. We, we have like custom health, custom mana. It looks like there's custom items. Like these guys have cool swords and what the heck that arm looks awesome just looking around it definitely does give me a little bit of a high pixel type vibe oh dude look at this map this is awesome i actually don't think i've ever seen like a skyblock server like this in bedrock before i i do have to say this definitely sounds a little bit like high pixel skyblock but it has a cool bedrock touch to it also i've either played this before or i just have random wood in my inventory i honestly do not remember it looks like we can teleport to to our island so let's hop right in here oh yeah i've definitely played this before okay either way though i can definitely say this is a little like hypixel but other than that this looks so cool all right so it looks like there's different types of experience as well like we have we're getting forging xp for mining down a tree oh yo this is like custom crafting what this honestly i'm actually excited to play this although it is raining right now why does it always rain okay well i did a little little bit of mining off camera while I waited for the rain to 
leave. Uh, it's still not left, so I guess we're just gonna have to live with it. I got a little bit of iron. But yeah, if we cross over here onto the other island, it looks like we have... I'm gonna guess these are minions. Yes, they are. And uh, yeah, it, it does look a little bit like Ibixel. Pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it has a stack of cobblestone. We'll just take that. And then, uh, yeah, it'll start mining again now that it has an uh, empty inventory. But yeah, I think for right now, uh, we can head back into the hub. Yo, dude, some of these custom stuff, are it looks so cool. <laughs> uh, okay, so I want to try this quest master out. So we got statistics, uh, your skills... So yeah, I have mining too right now. Yeah, and then you get rewards every time you level up, which is, that, that's pretty cool as well. Oh, okay, and then we have, we can have recipe books as well, where we unlock different recipe. Wait, you can, <laughs> why is there an enchanted poisonous potato recipe? But yeah, look at all this like custom stuff. We got, what, feather artifacts. So yeah, I, I do like though these like objective things up here. It it's really nice because a lot, as I've said, a lot of the servers we've looked at are kind of like a little confusing to learn. Uh, how things work so having these like villagers that tell you how things work is very nice this looks like it took so much time to make and i i know it does it does have some qualities of eye pixel i think it also brings kind of a bedrock touch to it like i don't think you could do like these health bars in java edition everything looks really clean i don't know how to say it and they they, they didn't fully copy eye pixel uh there's like a lot of different things i honestly might make a series or maybe a more in-depth video on just this server alone i don't know if you guys like that but if you'd like to see that me try and like get some actual custom weapons or something tell me in the comments down below because that'd be really cool and i think i think this would be cool but yeah for the rating this server it looks awesome uh the only thing that brings down the score is that it's kind of a high pixel ripoff if you could call it that kind of but other than that it looks amazing so i'm gonna give it probably an 8.5 out of 10 next up we're back on one of the featured servers of mineville and i would play their skyblock the only thing is you have to to pay for it so that's pretty much an immediate zero out of ten <laughs> Also, why is there just a dragon? What? So let's try out Mineville's sibling server, Pixel Paradise, where apparently there are also dragons. But on Pixel Paradise, they have a game mode where uh, called Islands. It's right in the middle here. Nice. Um, and this is actually kind of a cool take on Skyblock, where you're actually in the middle of the ocean. But as you can tell from all the cosmetics and stuff, it. This server is very pay to play. The unfortunate part though is that when the server released, I made the mistake of actually buying uh, the Skyblock on Pixel Paradise. So unlike these people that are trying to get into the portal uh, and flying away, I can go straight in and make myself an island. Put it out there right now, I, I don't really like this. The islands is actually quite a good concept. Where, like, you can't really touch the water, I think. No, you can touch the water. Never mind. But pretty much, in summary, this server is, like, normal skyblock where you plant things. You get, like, a starter kit. I'm pretty sure there's quests as well, as you can see on the top of the screen. But I have no clue how to access them. So, it's a pretty basic server. But if we go to the island hub, there's an auction house now as well. Own a pirate ship. How much? How much is this pirate ship? A 500 mine coins. Yes, uh, I, I am good. Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a hub here as well. The currency is shells um but i don't actually know if you can really use the currency much oh never mind you can buy you can buy flowers that that's cool oh and farm okay so there's stuff you can buy and then the rest of this stuff is pretty much just yeah that's so expensive to buy shells yeah as you can tell this server is not the greatest <laughs> the only good part about this server is that you can do a time trial and right when the server came out, I got on the leaderboard for this, but it's only a monthly leaderboard. So we're going to try and get it on the leaderboard. And this is literally just a, a boat race. It's very cool. Uh, I don't know the time we had to beat, but watch this. And 49 seconds. Hey, fourth place. Let's go. But yeah, I would give this a 0 out of 10 as well. But because of the boat race, it's a 1 out of 10. And now coming up on some of the final servers, we are on penguin.gg. And this server is actually a little different because this is actually a Bedrock and Java Edition crossplay server. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not the 
biggest fans of these types of servers. I know there are a lot of people that do like these types of servers. I just personally do not. I have played around with this server a little bit and I do have to say it is made pretty well. There's a whole bunch of custom things. But when I look at these types of servers, I look at them more as a Java server where they just put on that you can play bedrock as well so a lot of the menus and chat is more made for java edition and it's not very bedrock friendly and this doesn't just go for penguin.gg there is a lot of these uh, cross-platform servers that they're, they're mostly run by youtubers like this one is by sb737 i know like the mr epic has one as well and i feel like they mostly just have bedrock so that their bedrock viewers can also play which isn't a bad thing but a lot of the server is made for java edition. I'm not going to go in depth at all about how uh, this server works because it is so incredibly complicated. But what I've seen and heard from people is that it's it's really well made. There's like bosses and custom enchants and stuff. But from a Bedrock's perspective and logging onto the server for the first time, you, you kind of just get like chat spammed and it's not like the easiest thing to navigate. So just from really first interactions, uh, not just for Penguin.gg, but for pretty much any Bedrock and Java compatible servers, I'll give them a 6 out of 10. They could do a lot better for the Bedrock side of their server. And now for the final Skyblock server we are gonna check out. You'll probably never guess it. We are on a Cubecraft. I'd say this is probably the most popular Skyblock game mode on Bedrock Edition. I'm pretty sure it has the most concurrent players. It also has a pretty big community around it. And just looking at my island, I have a lot of experience in this. So this might be a little biased, but I'm gonna try and make it as low little biased as possible. Pretty much how to sum up how Cubecraft Skyblock works is you uh, have quests that you have to do and as you do these quests you progress th further into the game you unlock things it gives you money you can both sell and buy items uh, using your skyblock coins as you unlock more quests and complete more quests more islands appear with different biomes which is probably my favorite part of cubecraft skyblock along with just how grindy the quests are i i really like the concept of it i love like basic games that don't take a lot to like like learn how it works and I love to just grind to just get on Minecraft and like mine logs for five hours that that's fun to me even though if getting 20,000 logs was a little little much it, it's still fun they also have like custom trees vegetation and generators you can also add active boosts to them which is more later down the game but that lets them grow faster and then you can also get things like ore generators which takes like for diamonds it takes what like 12 hours to generate and since there's no mob spawning you have mob spawners as well which you can buy looking at all these other servers i wish they did make it a little bit more community based really the only community that you actually find in the game is through the skyblock hub and you can't even go to the skyblock hub immediately you have to unlock the quest uh, but if we go on to our main profile yeah you can see this is literally the only time you see other players <laughs> is in the skyblock hub and it's a pretty small skyblock hub where you don't do much just from looking at all the other skyblocks i think it would be cool if we had maybe a pvp arena or like some of the other community based things that the other servers had i think that would be really cool like leaderboards i saw leaderboards on a couple of the other servers and i don't i still don't understand why cubecraft doesn't have that because i don't know it's like it's such a grindy game so you would think that they ha would have leaderboards but they don't so i'm gonna give cubecraft skyblock a 9 out of 10 it is definitely a little biased if i hadn't played this long i'd probably give it more a 7 out of 10 i yeah i think the un unbiased answer is 7 out of 10 it's a very well made game mode especially if you like grindy and basic games i don't even know if basic's the right word but like straightforward games that don't require spending like 20 minutes looking at video tutorials to understand but yeah, that is the end of our Skyblock servers list. I hope you did enjoy. It's definitely showing me that there are a, actually a pretty good amount of Skyblock servers on Bedrock Edition that are pretty uh, high quality. If I did somehow miss a server though, put it down in the comments below. Maybe I'll make a second part to this video. Or if you'd like to see me go more in depth onto one of these Skyblock servers, tell me down below as well. Like I think I might want to look at the Crafters MC one a little bit more. But yeah, other than that, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget forget to hit that like button and subscribe and without further ado hope you all have an awesome rest of your day